We're here today to talk about the new ideal chair concept and in particular the new forward leaning tilt which is available as an innovation on the chair. Most chairs historically and probably the ones that you've been used to sitting on for many years through your working life will have a flat base. By that I mean that when you sit in the chair it won't move. The base will stay flat. The inherent problem with that is that as you focus on your task your spine starts to curl forward as you relax and your spine here drops into a straight line. The problem with that is that the human body is evolved to have a lower curvature here. It's called lumbar lordosis. And when this drops into a straight line, we put uneven pressure on internal organs and our spine. So the challenge then became to work out with a chair which could change when you sit badly in it. And we developed the ID chair concept. The ID chair moves if you slouch in your chair. So when you sit correctly, nothing happens, but when you slouch, instead of allowing you to do this, it'll move, rotating your pelvis forward and putting lumbar lordosis back into your spine. Far more healthy than letting this develop for your whole working life, that you do this and improve your posture. We'd also like to talk about how to set up your ID chair so that it's safe and optimal for your personal use. And I'm about to run through the seven settings that you'd need to make to make sure of that. Number one, the back of your chair, depending on which characteristic backrest you report, you'll find that there's a lumbar adjustment. And that simply increases or decreases the amount of lumbar support offered by the contour in the frame. Number two, the arms are height and width adjustable by either turning the screw at the base to widen them or squeezing the stem to increase or reduce the amount of height. Clearly, we're trying to achieve is the elbow making contact with the armrest so that the weight of your arm, about 7% of your body weight, goes through the frame of the chair rather than through your shoulder adding to the stress and strain you feel in a day. Height adjustment, but also task orientation. There's a lock positioned underneath your arm. If you depress that, the arm will twist and task orientate. And the reason that we do that is so that we can hold our hands in a neutral position above our keyboard so that the wrists don't take a strain, which is typically what happens when we sit like this, which then injures the soft, fleshy part of our wrist. So we task orientate, keep the fingers in a neutral position for better circulation and reduce the risk of repetitive strain injury. The arms will lock in the open position so that you can stand up safely. The height of the chair is adjusted from underneath the seat. And what we're looking to do is make sure that your heels are making contact with the floor and the angles of the knees and the hips are around about 90 degrees. That is the best way to get circulation through the whole body. There's also a seat depth adjuster. If you take your thumb and run it down the front of your right arm, your finger will land on a large square button which allows you to increase or decrease the depth of the seat. And the idea here is that you can get between three and four of your own fingers between the back of your calf and the front of the chair to avoid compression in the capillaries at the back of the calf. On the left hand side, there are two more adjustments. The first one is an easy tension control. I say easy because you can reach the stiffest tension all the way through to the lightest tension with two rotations. So you can adjust the chair for your body weight very, very quickly. Once adjusted, the synchronous mechanism on the ID chair becomes extremely comfortable. The final adjustment is a lock positioned under the left knee, which means that you can lock the backrest in the upright position for additional support behind the shoulders. Finally, to maintain your ID chair, if 
coffee spills on the seat, the seat can be uniquely removed purely by detaching it and removing these poppers. The whole cover comes off without glue and can be replaced without tools within about six or seven minutes. And that completes your ID chair tour.